Hello everyone, it's Melly. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. If you're, please don't forget to subscribe down below. If you like my content, I will be very happy to welcome you into our community. And for those of you who return to my channel, thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. So today I am presenting myself to you bare face <laughs> and I thought I will uh, do the face with you guys. I will not talk too much during the face, otherwise it's gonna be a million years uh, long <laughs> and I don't want that for you. So we will just show you what I use and then we will work on the eyes. And for today video, I want to use this palette, the So Jaded palette from Colourpop and Kathleen Light. Um, I expected this palette for so long, not that it took some time to get here, but I wanted this palette for a long time. And maybe you saw it on one of my video, but it broke live <laughs> during uh, the video that I did for you guys. So I ended up using a different palette because I thought maybe Colourpop was gonna change the palette that broke for no reason. But um, they didn't. So I will use the palette that I have and I will be very careful with it. And I hope that everything will be okay. <laughs> so if you want to see everything, then keep on watching. Now let's use this beauty and hoping that everything will be okay. So the shade that is broken, it's called Emerald. I tried to put it back as best as I could, as I could but as you can see it is destroyed. That's fine. <laughs> oh god. Here you go. I will begin with the shade My Precious. Just to set everything. I think I will go for something a little bit earth tone. So I will begin with, I mean I will continue with Geo Dude. 
and put that on the crease. I will continue with Jade and say same, I am putting the color on the crease a little bit under the first color. And I am always beginning into the outer corner because that's where I want the most intensity. And with what is left I'm taking the color into the crease here as well. I'm going back into Geodude with a more fluffy brush to blend a little bit and for the color not to disappear. With a more precise brush, I am going into stone and same into the crease, but a little bit under uh, jade. And this time I am staying into the outer V. I'm going to take citrine and with a precise brush as well, I'm taking the color in the crease right here. I'm going to take now Peridot, which is one of my favorite color. It's like a lime, a shimmery lime, absolutely gorgeous. And in the empty space that we have, I'm going to apply the color first here in the middle. And I'm not going above yeah. the shade that we have right here. I'm not going above the crease. So this color in the middle, I will continue with pearl. The first part of the eye. <gasps> And with percussion, I will place emerald right here. I will take stone again. In the bottom, I will use the same colors, beginning by stoned in the outer V, then with jade. I'm taking citrine and I'm placing the color right here. I will take topaz and I will place it in the inner corner. I'm taking pearl again under the brows. Then Natasha Denona and it's in the color Athena. It's from the collection I Need a Nude. Mm, I like the smell. Very like a cool tone. <laughs> cool tone nude. For a gloss I'm gonna use Lunar Beauty Lip Gloss and it's in the color uh, Celine. On my red line, I didn't tell you, but I use Beauty Bay crayon in the color, wait, it's right here. It's the lavender pastel color and it's called Aurora. It's not that obvious, but um, I can see it. It's subtle, but it's 
it's there and it's pretty, it's really brightening the eyes, I find. So in the end, what do I think of this palette that I waited for so long to buy? Um, I'm not sure. At some point, at the beginning, I was kind of disappointed because I find the color a little bit patchy and not that easy to blend. Or more, yeah, on the, like, patchy. Um, but then the shimmers that I use today are gorge. I'm loving these Perigot colors. That's a yes, yes for me. <laughs> um, but I will have to use it more. I was just a little bit disappointed at first, uh, but it's not necessary the formula that I prefer um, in an eyeshadow, you know? I used some other palettes and I was more blown away by the quality than I am right now with this uh, formula. And it's not the first time that I'm using Colourpop. I have another one. Um, and I have a tutorial roll on this one. I will put it right here on the description box. But I was not, yeah, blown away by the pigmentation and... And it's too sad because I really love the universe of Colourpop, you know, the, of the collection. I find them really cute and attractive, but... A little bit disappointed. Tell me guys what do you think of the uh, result. If you like this video please put a thumbs up that really helps me guys. Share with a friend who loves makeup as well and I see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye bye.